Today, I wanna to show you the best free software for PC. Sometimes the best things in life are free, kind of like this YouTube channel. We're going to cover software that allows you to edit images, take screenshots, customize your Windows experience, take notes, and much, much more. I use many of these apps on a near daily basis, and I think you will too. All right, let's check these out. The first one on the list is GIMP, and GIMP is a free image editing program. To download it, you can get it at GIMP.org. I've also included a link in the description down below. With GIMP, you get all of the image editing tools that you would expect. You can transform an image, you can adjust colors, you can use layers, you can apply filters, and the list goes on and on. When you first use GIMP, it might seem a little bit intimidating, but lucky for you, I have an intro video that'll show you all of the essentials of how to use GIMP. You can click on a link up above or also down below in the description. At number two, we have the GreenShot screenshot tool. You can get this at getgreenshot.org. Once again, you can also find that in the description. It's kind of like the snipping tool that comes with Windows, but it offers even more functionality. You have all of your standard capture tools. You can capture the full screen, a window, or a region. Once you capture your screenshot, you can place it directly on the clipboard. You could send it to an application, or you could just automatically upload to the cloud. Greenshot also comes with a very powerful annotation editor. You can add callouts, arrows, text, step numbers, and one of my favorites, you can even use a torn page filter. In position number three, we have the Handbrake open source video transcoder. You can download this at handbrake.fr, also down below in the description. So why would you ever need to use a video transcoder? Well, let's say you have a video file in, let's say, .flv format. It's hard to do much with that, but you can simply drag and drop it into Handbrake and it'll convert it into an MP4. Or let's say you have a whole bunch of files in 4K, but they take up a little bit too much space. You can transcode them all down to 1080p. And free app number four is Microsoft's Power Toys. You can get this directly in the Microsoft Store. Simply search for Power Toys and then click on Install. With Power Toys, you get a lot of additional utilities for Windows. For example, you get a color picker. You get something called Fancy Zones, and this allows you to define and configure the snap zones in Windows. There's also a mouse highlighter, you get an app launcher, along with many other utilities. It's definitely worth checking out. Number five, we have another app by Microsoft, and this is OneNote. Here too, you can also get this through the Microsoft Store. Simply search for OneNote and then click on Install. If you have Windows, this also comes for free and pre-installed with Windows. OneNote is a digital note-taking app, and it's extremely powerful. You could capture all types of notes. You could find your notes again very quickly. You can access OneNote across all of your different devices. I use OneNote to keep track of all my video ideas, and I also use it to keep track of all of my different video scripts. Free app number six is Signal. Signal is a messaging app for both your PC and your phone. You can download it at signal.org. You might be wondering, do I really need another messaging app? There are already so many messaging apps out there. You have WhatsApp, Messenger, iMessage, Skype. All of those are owned by large corporations. Signal, on the other hand, is open source and they put privacy first. There's end-to-end -end encryption by default. There are no trackers, there are no ads. So you could rest assured that every conversation that you have will be completely private. App number seven is yet another app by Microsoft. I might be a little bit biased, I used to work there, but I also genuinely like using Microsoft apps. This one is Microsoft To Do. It's your standard task tracking app. You can add tasks, you can add substeps, and you could even assign those tasks to others. You can flag emails in Outlook and those will show up on your task list. One of my favorite features is called My Day. 
Every single day, you can add tasks to your My Day view, and the next day, you get a clean slate again. Just like with the other Microsoft apps, you can get to do by opening up the Microsoft Store and searching for to do. Number eight is Team Viewer, and you can download this app at teamviewer.com. With Team Viewer, you can remotely control another PC. This is especially helpful if, let's say you're trying to help a friend or a family member with a PC problem. You can take control of their PC. Or let's say at home you want to transfer files between two different PCs. You can use Team Viewer to do that as well. And number nine, we have Oracle's VirtualBox Virtual Machine. You can get this at virtualbox.org. So what is a virtual machine and why would you want to use it? Well, with a virtual machine, you can run multiple operating systems on one physical computer. So imagine your main computer has Windows 11 on it. You can set up a virtual machine with Windows 10, Windows 7, or even Linux. This way, let's say you're developing an app and you want to test it on an older version of Windows. Or maybe you want to play an older game. Or maybe you want to run malicious software that you don't trust to run on your main machine. You can do all of these things with a virtual machine. This brings us to the last one of today. At number 10, we have the Shotcut Video Editor. This is a free and open source video editor and it includes no watermarks on your video. You can import your videos, you can place them on a timeline, you can edit your video, and there are also all sorts of different filters that you can apply. You can adjust the brightness, you can use chroma key, you can add text, you can even use keyframes. If you want to learn how to use Shotcut to edit videos, I've included a full tutorial up above and also down below in the description. If you want to use any of this software, I've included links to all of them down below. If you want even more free software, I pulled together a video in 2021 that lists out some of my favorite free software. You'll find that up above and also down below in the description. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.